Hey folks, Brian here, Mr. Suit Tie Links Braces Man, with another one of BK's tips for upping your suit and tie game. This episode is a detailed instructional on how to tie, prep, and tie a self tied bow tie. If you've done one of these before and you just need a quick refresher, I encourage you to seek my other video, which will be much shorter and a quicker mechanical display of how to tie the bow tie. In this episode, I will go into more detail and more tips and functionality for you. I would love for everyone to make a pledge and forego pre-tied and clip-on bow ties and learn how to tie a self-tied bow tie. It looks better. It looks like you put in the effort. People notice and appreciate it. Usually when you have a clip-on or a pre-tied, um, it tends to look like you're like a waiter or you're going to the prom. And when you have a real one on, I'm telling you, pe people notice it, appreciate it. It always looks better. I mean, even when it's tied or untied. I mean, imagine like you're, you're at your event and then you're hanging out afterwards, having a drink or whatever, and you, you guys are unwinding. And I mean, just the, the, the look of this just looks cooler. Um, it's just one of those things that everyone should learn. Now, let's get to it. First, to avoid frustration, I want you to resolve yourself that you're gonna be fumbling through this for your first one, two, three attempts and just trying to get it right, getting your fingers in the right spot and, and perfecting it. So just resolve yourself that. This is one of these things, a little bit of practice makes perfect. And then once you sort of have it down, you could do it blindfolded, I'm telling you. The second most important thing to remember is this is exactly, exactly like tying your shoelace. So I would actually encourage you to do that first. Get the mechanics down in your head. So let's go do that real fast. Take your shoelace, you make the first knot, you make that first bow, you bring the other end around and through the hole in the back to make the other half of the bow. Pull it tight. You have two ends of the bow and two flaps, just like the bow tie. The next step is sizing and setting the proper length of the bow tie. Now, you're gonna find that depending on the bow tie that you have, there are a number of different types of closures or measurement mechanisms or no mechanisms on the bow tie. I'm gonna give you a couple examples. One of which is, this is a Carrot and Gibbs bow tie that has a buttoned enclosure and two ends for sizing. Uh, you might have ones that have actual indications of neck sizes, but I have found that 95% of the time, these just do not come out accurately. I have a 16 and a half neck, and this is sized to actually 14 on the bow tie, which is actually the right size to make the tie look Good. Uh, and then you have some bow ties that just have this sort of adjustment uh, clasp uh, and no indication of sizing. So best way to size it is button your collar, put on the bow tie, and pretend you're about to create the first knot where you are going to bring one end of the bow close to the neck and the other end should have about two addi additional inches of length. And that's how you size it. The next tip I have for you is when you're putting on a bow tie or even a necktie, um, I always find that gentlemen flip up their collar and then put it on and then flip down their collar. You don't need to do that. You don't need to sort of wreck the nice uh, pressing of your collar. All you gotta do is just take your tie, slip it underneath, bring it around the back, and bring it around underneath, and a couple of swipes and you're good, and no reason to affect the collar. Now, let's get to tying the bow tie. Okay, so as I said, what you wanna do is once you have the length properly set is you're going to get to this position where you have two ends and we're going to have a shorter end and a longer end. The longer end goes over top. 
okay? So adjust this, so the shorter end is almost right against the collar and two extra inches on the longer end. What you're going to do is you're gonna take the longer end, flip it around the back, bring it forward, and you're going to make the first knot, as in when you make your shoelace knot. Tighten that a little bit. So it essentially looks like that. The next step is make your bow with one hand, okay? And what I do is use thumb and forefinger, thumb, forefinger. Just hold that bow in place. Bring the longer end over the top, which is gonna to start to make the bow's knot, essentially the second knot. Now, there are a number of videos out there um, that would advise you at this point to bring the two ends of the bow together, hold them like that, and then you would take this flap around and there is a hole back here, okay? And you just, you would cram this into the hole. Uh, you can do it that way. But what I would advise, because sometimes things get a little loosened up when you do that, my advice is make the bow, hold it with forefinger and thumb, bring the top over of the longer end, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up holding this end, use this free thumb, and you're going to end up taking this bow up and around the back, and then you're gonna push it through that hole in the back through that hole in the back and grab it with this hand. And it's gonna be fumbling, it's gonna be messy, but just try and find that loop and pull it through while you're continuing to hold the other end so everything stays in place. And you're gonna find that the knot behind there actually holds a little bit better when you do it this way. So once you get to this point, Looks a little strange, but it now it just requires a little bit of tinkering to get it right, a little bit of tightening and tinkering. But this, once you get to this point, you're good. So what you're gonna do is take your two forefingers and go down into the two bow, bow wings there. And then what I do is I will hold the bow and the flap on this one side and tighten the bow the other side and then hold the bow and the flap on this side and tighten the bow on this side. And then it's just a matter of tinkering with it a little bit and straighten it out, keep doing little tightenings. And it's actually okay and good if it's a little off-centered, if it's a little askew, uh, it actually makes it look like you've actually tied a bow tie and it doesn't look perfect. It doesn't look like a pre-tied bow tie. It, it just looks better. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful as my objective is to help you up your suit and tie game. Feel free to leave comments below and follow me on Instagram and YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube page, suit tie links braces man. Cheers, everybody.